Today, I'm going to be starting up this brand new AC unit, this Lennox. Right now, my pressures are standing. Let's get it started. I haven't been inside yet. I'm only supposed to be starting this. And we're off. I have all my probes connected. Superheat down to zero. That should rise. We need this to start going up. There we go. We're rising subcooling. We want about five or six. 11 degree superheat, boom, five. What happened there, 10? We're jumping, 15. Whoa, what is going on with that? 410A, look at my suction pressure. Something's a little funky here. Okay, it's going up at least. Suction pipe is going up, subcool, two, so. Superheat's rising, so far everything looks good. This is why patience is a virtue. You're not gonna see the symptoms of what I'm about to show you when you first turn it on. Unfortunately, I didn't do anything with the inside. Subcooling is about three, almost four. Right now my suction line is 56, 57. Suction's 102, rising a little. We're about 93, 94 degrees today. So that suction just seems a little low. But let's see, what does it say on the app here? Boom, 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 boom. So it's only showing up as about 90. My thermometer though, oh, turned off, is saying what? Okay, same. So I'm wrong, 90 degrees. So 90, 91. Still, I've allowed it to run now for a couple minutes. Now my suction's down to 47, superheat dropped down to 11, sub cools 2, liquid line's 98. So, still not 100% bad. My suction, though, is getting into a, an area I don't like to see. I really don't like to see my suction much below. Well, 50 degrees usually, so I'm close. I'm close. My superheat, I like about 15, 16, 12. Not really a fan of it. Let's give it another minute. All right, so now we've dropped down. We've got nine degrees of superheat. And we are 45 with their suction line temperature. And we're dropping. So we're down 44, it's getting, it's like liquid starting to slug back. It's not superheating correctly, so we're just sliding right through while our superheat's getting low. We don't want our superheat to slow because we're not absorbing heat correctly. And we need to absorb our heat correctly. Little problem in a hive. Coil's getting a little restricted. It's still, that wouldn't affect this at all. 44, subcool's low, eight degrees superheat. No bueno, not liking it. Like I said, I like to see it above 50. Everybody's got their preference. I like to be above 50, 52, 54, whatever. But I mean, now we're 42 and dropping. We're getting, I don't like to ever go into the 30 degree range. This isn't refrigeration, this is air conditioning. Suction pressure has been going down. 103. We're at 10 degrees of superheat though with the pressure drop. I mean, these pressures are no good. 104, 105, 90 degrees, it's saying 89, but 89.90. Look, we're up to 13 degrees superheat. It's a little funky, isn't it? And the suction line came back up. So, it's still running pretty good, but it, something's wrong. We were just at 44 degrees on that suction pipe. Now we're dipping back down. 
suction pressure came up a little and our suction line is going down in temperature so is our superheat so this is gonna follow this is gonna drop with it should at least I mean we got one degree of superheat 38 degree suction pipe I don't like that at all that is no good 100 degree liquid line okay I'm okay with that I would like to see a little different on the subcooling but I dislike this superheat so let's go find out what's going on is it an overcharge or an airflow issue superheat low suction pipe temp low saying airflow in a three and a half and split plug other one plug all right so Filters changed. Suction's rising. So is the superheat. So it's warming up the suction pipe. Plug solid. So I'm getting back outside. Suctions rose up to 51. It takes a long time to heat itself back up when it's so cold, but superheat's about 16. I like that. Subcool's almost three. Yeah, you know, might need a little bit, maybe not. We'll see. We'll let it run. But I mean, 50 degrees is a lot better than down in the 30s. Well, in this video, I show one cause for low superheat. Lack of airflow. Other causes, but this was in this video, what caused the problem. Always look out, make sure you have enough airflow. Not enough airflow is definitely gonna affect the operation of your system. And I mean, that you're not gonna cool right, your system could freeze up on occasion, and nobody wants that. Well, like and subscribe my video, I'm on vacation. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.